All right, I got my beautiful HM1000X set up at a very special. Ninety-six yards away, way out there, and we got about seven miles an hour winds. But it's one of the calmest days I had this week. All right, guys, I believe this gun's designed to shoot these redesigned twenty-five point three nine grains and some twenty-five point three nine grain FX. I'm going to show you guys these are some pellets that I bought off eBay, and it looks like they got put through the cheese grater. I bought these from Poland for like, I don't know, eight bucks a 10. And then when I got them, every single skirt looks like that. There, you can see quite a few of them right there. So yeah, it looks like this guy picked up all his uh, pellets that he dropped on the ground or whatever and then put them all in one tin. Or actually, I bought six that were like this. I had bought three at first, or three or four, and they were perfect, and then I ordered six, and he sent me a bunch of rejects, so that's pretty funny. But these, I got from Utah Air Guns, and they're still, they came in a sleeve of four, so I know these are good. And yeah, these are all beautiful, so Utah Air Guns four for five pellet deal. So you put four cans of pellets in your basket, and you get the fifth one for free. Cha-ching! All right, we're out here at 100 yards, about. And this is a little contraption I built, so. Oh, I'm gonna take that lens cap off, buddy. Whoa, look at that. That's us. Okay, and it's um, being transmitted wirelessly from this little contraption, run by a battery, so. All I gotta do is not hit that. Actually, it only costs about 30 bucks, but yeah. So I'm gonna have this uh, big old screen back there at my 100 yard table so I won't miss any of the action. Yep, it's windy. I'm not filming down there at the target, but I'm gonna film this right here. That's pretty good, I'm filming my LCD, my, my, I'm filming my TV screen right there. That was like 10 bucks at the Goodwill. Ah, oh, that's crazy, it's like I'm sitting right next to it. I am actually, except it's in digital form. 96 yards away Let the game begin Believe it or not guys. That's a good scope cam for a hundred yards a little more blurry, but The scope came up who knows where so I have no idea where we're gonna hit I Didn't even look through the scope and I saw where I hit. Oh, that's so cool. I love this thing already, so I'm gonna go over a little bit Yeah, baby, let's do a group. All right, let me try to side in. Get some bullseyes. Yeah, I just felt a big old breeze come right then. Yeah, that wind chime's like twirling like a twirly bird. All right, we're at 225 bar. Let's hit one of these guys, that guy right there. Haha, <laughs> nailed it. Oh, just got calm. Bam. All right. You gotta concentrate twice as hard to hit some at 100 than 50. Yep, it was me. All right, let's get, get a hold of myself here. Okay, actually, we're gonna use this bullseye right here because it's not done yet. Boom, in the room. Oh, here comes a, here comes a wind. Ha, nice. Okay, me likey. All right, I'm gonna say that we're sighted in. So that was just my warm up. I'm gonna shoot some official groups that are better than that. As you can see here though, hitting those one inch little chickens. 
no problem at 96 yards. Oh, uh, something like silhouette at 100 yards with this would just be so easy. Like, there's no way you're gonna miss one of those rams at 100 yards. Oh, uh, we killed all the small ones. Snail's guy in the head. <laughs> you hear that smack? I heard it from 96 yards away. So right now is a good time to talk about the limitations of my Helix scope. Now, this Helix scope is phenomenal. Out to probably 60 yards. But once you zoom it in, your eye relief becomes very small. So the position that you have to have your head just right becomes very tiny. You have to have your head exactly the right spot. And in addition, everything becomes blurry. So I cannot clearly see my target. But that's why I'm guessing that people buy the higher end scopes. Oh, I think I did hit it. I saw the paint go off. But I don't think he's going to go down with a tail shot. And the Helix is great for most of my shooting. But, you know, the sweet spot of that scope is not 100 yards. So I'm going to have to get at least a few M3 videos done before I can ask FX for an upgraded scope. So I'll be cranking those out soon. But for a while, I don't think I'm going to do a lot of 100 yard accuracy testing because I just don't have the optics for it at this time. All right, the wind chimes are a chiming, and we got FX. Whoa, like I'm not even trying right now. I'm just like not even trying to aim, really. This is like effortless. Wow. Except for that flyer right there, darn it. And these pellets are also kind of bent. <laughs> awesome. All right, so that's it, you guys. That's an example of what can be done with the right ammo and the right shooter. Not really sure what that flyer was all about. I'm pretty sure I put a mangled pellet in there because I was at the end of my 10, so, and I wasn't checking them, so. Awesome. Anyway, though, I'd say yes, this is an MOA gun, sub MOA, and it seemed like the FX 25.4 grain did a little better than the 25.39 grain JSB. All right, you guys, that's it for me on this one. Utah Air Guns gave me a discount on this gun a ways back, and so definitely want to thank them for that. This gun is so smooth to shoot, and I didn't relax until that last group that you that you saw with the FX, but. You can just sit there and relax like you're shooting at 35 yards when you're doing 100 yards. So my next step with this gun, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to film it right off, but I'm going to go and get my collection of slugs and try a bunch of different slugs out of here. And I'm sure I'm going to find one that shoots just as good as these pellets, if not better. All right, you guys, that's it for me on this one. Catch my first raw HMX 1000 review. If you want to know everything about this gun as well, I shot a ton of groups at 35 and 50 yards. I have another video right here where I shot the gun at 68 yards the first day I got it. And once again, shout out to Utah Air Guns. I hit that guy three times with too low. Pretty awesome. Go check them out. Get some of your ammo there. Three for four deal. So you can't argue with that. All right. Everybody take care. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.